What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got Lineage 2 Revolution on your screen today. But before I begin, there's a few things I'd like to talk about. I have very little time to do this, so let me begin. If you want to skip all this little monologue I'm about to do, I will have timestamps in the description below. And that's Lineage 2 Revolution up there. I haven't done this in a while, this picture in picture. There's a reason for that. So this week, I am celebrating my one year anniversary as a YouTuber. On September the 8th, I dropped my first video. September 8th, 2018, I dropped my first video. It was done on my iPhone 8 in portrait mode, recording the screen of my iPad. I, I was new to this whole thing. I didn't know what I was doing. The first three videos were in portrait mode, holding the phone like this down at the screen. Uh, the next three videos, I turned the camera sideways, turned the phone sideways, and started trying to one hand the the screen of the iPad, and it didn't work out. I dropped it a whole bunch of times. I hated it. I think I did about three videos of that until I finally figured out that there was a native screen recorder for iOS that came out in iOS, like I think it was 10 or 11, and you could just record the screen. Didn't even need to use the phone. And that's what I started doing for about a month. And then I went out and I bought the iPhone XS Max. And I did one video on l 2 with the XS Max. And when I uploaded it to YouTube, I was unable to do it end screens. I couldn't use end screens. YouTube told me that the aspect ratio of the XS Max, I didn't know it was a XS Max, but the aspect ratio of the video that I had uploaded was not supported for end screens. End screens are like the, the subscribe, little subscribe button in the middle that you see at the end of my uh, videos and the two videos that are on the sides, that's considered an end screen. It's not the outro, it's the stuff that you put at the end of your video. And I couldn't do that with the 10s Max the aspect ratio. So I went back to the iPad and that's pretty much where I've been. I eventually learned how to use my phone for picture in picture and that worked out pretty well. However, the processing times of doing picture in picture along with the actual video extended out to like eight hours a day. I mean, averaging about eight hours. And, and that's a full work day and I'm not even getting paid for this. So eventually, you know, about seven months later, I stopped doing picture in picture, except for now, I will do it for certain occasions. I have no problem with that. You know, I've got other things in the works. This behind me, this beige, this, this eggshell cream, I think is the name of the color. It's too bright. I think it's very distracting in, in the video for picture in picture. So rather than going out and buying a green screen and buying a chroma key program and all that to, to eliminate you know, the green of the green screen and then just having the silhouette that you see now, I think I'm just gonna go ghetto and throw a curtain or a dining table you know, cover, tablecloth, and make it black. And that way you'll still have a black box down in, in the corner, but it won't be this annoyingly cream colored beige that you see going on right now. That's something that I have uh, in, the, in the works right now. Other than that, there were times that I thought that I wasn't going to be able to go this entire year. I got very frustrated. I knew I wasn't going to do this for money. And I feel like I, there's more that I could do if I spent the money. I just don't want to spend the money on something like this right now. Sometimes you have to spend money to make money, right? And I, and I understand that. I'm just not prepared to do that right now. I enjoy doing this, so I'm okay doing the, the bare basic minimum stuff that I've got going on. I've got intros now, I've got outros, I've got the end screens, the info cards, uh, high definition graphics, as high definition as I can get them. Uh, I've got it in the 10, 1080p aspect ratio, 30 frames per second. I can't find a program that'll render this in 60 frames per second yet. I can't find it yet. So I don't, that's something I, else I need to, to look into. I mean, I guess 30 frames per second isn't bad, but 60 frames per second even looks better, right? Other than that, hey, I'm looking forward to the next year. I really am. I, I hope I've been getting steady subscribers i mean it's like you know, onesies and twosies every couple of weeks over the last year i'm at i think it's like 170 right now it's hey the big youtubers didn't become big in, in a year it took them like a decade i really don't want to wait a whole decade but if that's the way that it happens and so be it 
But enough about all this ranting. Linea Sue, in front of you, I've got a Fortress Siege. This is number 37 in the series. Stark Industries is defending their fortress against Shiva. Shiva, interestingly enough, they had merged into the Kingdom of Aiden and then rebuilt themselves. And as of, I think it was about 8, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, Shiva had 215 million CP, it's combat power, and Stark Industries had about 206 million. Now, from my understanding, the rankings are still boned, still not showing the proper stuff. So I'm not even going to go in there and show you any of that, because there's simply no point. If they're not correct, then what's the point of looking at it? So what I will do instead is go this route. This is for a B-grade fortress. And there we have it, Stark Industries versus Shiva. Shiva paying 152,479,657 of Denna for the right to challenge Stark Industries for this B-grade fortress. We got a little under two and a half minutes remaining. So let's head into the battlefield. All right, a little under two and a half minutes and there is Stark Industries leader. I mean, I want to say Loki, but it could be Loiki? Loiki. We'll just say Loiki. I mean, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this correctly, but we'll say Loiki. That is their leader. Looks like, I want to say a Temple Knight. A very good class to play in any kind of siege, assuming that they don't get shut down uh, at the entrance. If they can waltz in there, they're going to get time. And that's probably what Stark Industries is banking on. Stark Industries in the blue on the top. Good luck to Stark Industries. Let's head on down to Shiva. They are the attackers and I will be following them. So Shiva in the red on the bottom. I'd like to do a shout out to Cherry Chiraki. She has rejoined my Discord server. She had some issues. We're going to leave it at that. She's back again. It's good to see her. It's good to see she hasn't gone anywhere. I'm very happy about that. She's like my real future ex-wife. If you want to go that route, we're not married. Let me put that out there right now. We're not married. She's just my future ex-wife. I'm looking at Pop-Tarts. Good name. Pop-Tarts, leader of Shiva. Over here at the non-spawn side, we have 30 seconds before this battle begins. 10 seconds before this battle begins. Five seconds before this battle begins. And here we go! Fortress Seas number 37, Stock Industries, defending against Shiva. Shiva trying to go for both Altar Imprints. Stark Industries taking it down here and taking down one of the defense towers of the non-spawn gate. And there goes the other one. There goes the non-spawn gate of Shiva, but Shiva now has a 10% buff. Shiva now has a 30% buff in the next two minutes and 52 seconds. Here goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower. Stark Industries is not wasting any time here, but this could be this could be not good for Stark Industries. They went hard and heavy, but they allowed Shiva to get that 30% buff. And right now, as of about an hour and a half ago, Shiva is beating them in combat power. Of course, we know combat power doesn't mean anything and stuff like this, but Shiva got some time there. Shiva managed to take down the non-spawn gate of Stark Industries. And there goes this Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Stark Industries, gone. That may have been a bit of a slip up there, Stark Industries, allowing them to get that 30% buff. Thinking you were gonna go down there and waltz in, into, the, into their base and win this game in like a minute, and it didn't happen. Well, let's see how Stark Industries responds to this now. That would be the spawn gate of Stark Industries. This is not looking good for Stark Industries right now. Looks like Shiva's gonna try to come in here and play a little open siege, prevent them from respawning. And there goes Pop Tarts trying to get some more time in to do get a little bit. Stark Industries, part of the V3 Way Alliance. 
Shiva, if I recall correctly, they are part of the Kings of Starus Alliance. He still has 45 seconds left in their 30% buff. Stark Industries is reeling right now. They are definitely losing a Holy Artifact imprint time. As Shiva continues to get more. All right, Stark Industries. Trying to get some time, trying to play catch up right now. Hopefully Stark Industries will correct their initial mistake in attempt to get an altar. Shiva trying again. Stark Industries going for their own altar right now. Interrupted. Pop Tarts getting some more time. Shiva just got their 10% buff. And it looks like they're going to get the 30% buff again. I don't think Stark Industries was anticipating this. 30% buff in the next 2 minutes and 41 seconds. I really don't believe Stark Industries was, was anticipating Shiva to be this big of a pain in the butt. But Shiva is definitely winning this fight right now. Shiva is beating Stark Industries in the Kill Death Department right now. Beating them in Holy Artifact imprint time. Definitely a big mistake not going after an altar in the beginning. I don't think Stark Industries, should they lose this battle, will try that again. Stark Industries. Got some time there. I'm trying to catch up a little bit. I am looking for a specific person right now. They said that they were going to be here. They made it sound like they were going to be here. That's why I'm not putting out their name. Because I do not know if they're actually here or not. Stark Industries getting a little bit more time. A lot of people running around. Everyone runs so quickly right now. Nothing going on over here. Looks like Shiva and SI slugging it out over by the non-spawn gate of Shiva. Shiva won that one, it seems. And there's the person I was talking about. Miss Solo, she is here in person. She did say she was going to be here. My bad! Shiva with 28 seconds left on their 30% buff. There's Cherry. Shiva, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 seconds left on their 30% buff. Shiva is doing a great job of pushing back Stark Industries, still leading in the kill death department. Alright, Stark Industries trying to go interrupted. Shiva not even trying for either one of them yet. Now, well, they try for their own interrupted. Trying for both, interrupted on their own. Still going on Stark Industries. Interrupted, trying for their own. Interrupted, Stark Industries going for their own. 
There goes a defensive tower, one of the defensive towers of Shiva. Just destroyed. Neither team able to get any kind of momentum going on the altar imprints. I've got red in the blue area and blue in the red area. Interruptions on both sides. Shiva interrupted. Almost got to the halfway point. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. artifact. Looks like Stark Industries managed to compose themselves now after that first what seven minutes of insanity. Now we got a real fight on our hands. Well, we got more of a real fight on our hands. Neither team able to get any kind of serious... They can't even get over halfway on their imprints for their respective altars. And Stark Industries trying to go for Shiva's now. Shiva's going for Stark Industries, and Stark Industries going for Shiva's. This is insane right now. This is phenomenal. SI going for their own. What's going on down here at Shiva's? Not a whole heck of a lot. Shiva's trying to go for their own now. SI over halfway, finally. Oh, interrupted. Someone finally got over halfway. Shiva over halfway. Shiva interrupted. Wow. And I gotta do this. Alright. My bad. It just sounds like it's it's not recording right now. I'm not even gonna try to guess who is ahead in Holy Artifact imprint time right now. Let's head on over here. Stock Industries over halfway. Can they finally get their first 10%? Oh no, unable to do so. Shout out to Scissor Queen. She's in my Discord. Or he. It. SI trying again. Interrupted. Trying again. Trying for both. Interrupted on one, over halfway on their own, interrupted. Both teams imprinting the Holy Artifact. Stark Industries got it down to, uh, what, to about 13 seconds, maybe 12, 13 seconds. So they've definitely caught up a bit to Shiva from that initial insanity. Shiva's still winning in the kill death department though. Stark Industries doesn't care. Stark Industries over halfway. No red up here. Can oh, there comes one. Can they get it? No, they were about two seconds away. SI trying for Shiva's. Interrupted. Trying again, interrupted on their own. This is insane right now. And there goes my cat. She is not happy. Neither team is going to let the other get a 10% buff. Wow, this is crazy right now. Uh-oh, Shiva getting some time. 
you have got about 13 to 14 seconds there. And then Stark Industries turned around and got about 12 or 13 seconds. This is a great fight going on right now for a B-grade fortress. Who would have thunk it? Stark Industries over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10%. Bob, finally, for Stark Industries for the next three minutes. Shiva over halfway. Three seconds, interrupted. And Stark Industries is gonna come flooding down here. But Shiva is in force. As you can see on the map, there was a lot of red dots. Finally, we're starting to see some blue dots. Shiva over halfway again. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. 10% buff for the next three minutes for Shiva. We are tied at 10%. Shiva has a slight advantage having one Holy Artifact defense tower. Let's see what these two teams are going to do now for the next two minutes and 10 seconds. Looks like Shiva's gonna come up here in force. Well, we they were ahead, but there goes the final Holy Artifact Defense Tower. Shiva, 15 seconds. There is no blue going on down in Shiva's base right now. They are all up here. Shiva has thrown their entire might, or has tried to, but Stark Industries managed to push them out. Not before allowing Shiva to get some time. Great fight we got going on right now. Oh, there's a lot of blue down here. And we are officially halfway through this battle. Great battle we got going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Dead bodies everywhere. Stark Industries Alter Imprint is 10 seconds from expiration. Are we going to see another another 3 minute, 4 minute, 5 minute battle for the 10% buff? I don't know. We're about to find out. Shiva is over halfway on Stark Industries' Alter Imprints. Shiva is about to get it, and they have gotten it for the next three minutes. Not looking good for Stark Industries again. Shiva doing a great job. Not allowing Stark Industries to do a whole heck of a lot. And every time Stark Industries gets something going, Shiva comes right back and answers. 13 and a half minutes remaining in this battle. 1182 kills versus 622. That's Shiva versus Sark Industries. So Sark Industries now needs to just waste Shiva's time for the next two minutes and 16 seconds. Nice, Stark Industries leader got some time there, definitely more than what Shiva's leader got. But 
Shiva has a 30% buff for the next one minute and 44 seconds. So we'll come back up here because you know they're going to come storming up here. To try to take advantage of that 30% buff. Industries got it to 15 seconds again. 12 minutes remaining in this battle. She was 30% buff, good for another 60 seconds. That was a good kill by whoever did that. Taken down Shiva's leader before they were able to get to the Holy Artifact and get more time. Pop Tart's trying to get some time. Slapped around, stunned, and finally killed. Nothing going on down here in Shiva's base. Well, I stand corrected. Videsh is down here by himself. Shiva, over halfway on Stark Industries, Alter Imprint, and they have been interrupted. Wow, with like one second left. Just a sliver left. Baba Duke came in by himself and managed to interrupt them. Look herself. Shiva only has 8 seconds remaining on their 10% buff. And we have less than 10 minutes remaining in this battle. Shiva over halfway on Stark Industries, but interrupted. Trying for Stark Industries again. Who is down here? Stark Industries getting more time. We have to be pretty close. I think at this point, I'm going to take a wild guess and say Stark Industries is probably leading not by much. Less than 10 seconds. I don't know. I can't see. So we are back where we were in the beginning after the first 8 minutes and... Stark Industries not able to get anything going there. Neither team able to get anything going. One can only imagine if they're on Discord voice or any kind of voice program how much cussing is going on right now. Shiva is over half halfway. Shiva is I oh, interrupted. About a one second left. Good interruption by Stark Industries. Eight and a half minutes remaining in this battle. I'm just not getting this warm and fuzzy. Normally this... It's very loud. And I feel like my screen recorder is not actually recording this. And I'm going to be super, super angry. If it's not, that's why I had to keep doing this. It, it, the red dot is on. It just sounds very loud. Shiva over halfway on their alter imprint. Shiva, one second, 10% buff in the next three minutes. 
Stark Industries. Two seconds. One second. Oh! Interrupted at the last second. Seven and a half minutes remaining in this battle. I think this battle is going to go to the distance. I really believe that. One thousand six hundred fifteen kills versus Stark Industries eight hundred thirty-five. Shiva, thirty percent buff in the next two minutes fifteen seconds. We only got seven minutes left in this battle, so that's only going to happen maybe two more times. Let's see what Shiva is going to do and how Stark Industries will respond. We know what Shiva's going to do. Oh, Pop Talk's got not even maybe a half second. Let's try it again. Red team, look at it. He's not. He's getting some serious time right now. Stark Industries. Four seconds from losing this battle. Two seconds. And I think Pop Tarts may have disconnected. Or experience some serious lag. Regardless, I still think the game gives that leader, that clan, I think it counts towards Holy Artifact imprint time. I don't know. But if it does, it's like 25, 29 seconds that Shiva just got with 5 minutes and 8 seconds remaining in this battle. Five minutes remaining. Well, I bet Stark Industries was sweating right then and there. I can't hit him, I can't hit him! <laughs> All right, Shiva, getting their own alter imprint. Shiva got their holy art, holy, uh, holy, got their altar imprint. Pop Tarts trying again. Stark Industries definitely needs to do a lot to catch up. Shiva is getting Stark Industries alter imprint right now. Stark Industries just unable to withstand this onslaught, but they did manage to interrupt them. Good job. Shiva going for Stark Industries alter imprint again. Got it about halfway and then interrupted. Shiva now has 1,000 more kills than Stark Industries. Shiva, two seconds, one second, 30% buff in the next one minute and 35 seconds with three minutes remaining in this battle. So Stark Industries' alter imprint is now out of play. And only Shiva's alter imprint can be imprinted one more time. I think she was winning this this battle right now. 
Been flip flopping, flip flopping. Pop Tarts just walked. He literally walked up to it. And he is getting some serious time right now. There is a huge wall. Stock Industries. Six seconds from losing. Two seconds. Oh, interrupted with about three seconds remaining. But Stark Industries needs to imprint the Holy Artifact now. I, th I believe Shiva is just too far ahead. But he's by himself again. Stark Industries! Four seconds to, to win this game! Stock Industries interrupted at four seconds. Oh man, that is insane right there. This is going to come down. This is definitely going to come down to Shiva winning this by Holy Artifact imprint time. Assuming Stock Industries can't win this outright. Sixty seconds remaining in this battle. Pop Tarts is trying to end this with fashion and pizzazz. I don't know. He's trying to end this. Is he going to be able to do so? Nobody's there to stop him. Six seconds before Pop Tarts win this battle. Two seconds before Shiva wins. And it looks like Shiva, I didn't, I'll have to see the replay. I think time ran out, honestly. But if not, then congratulations to Shiva for successfully taking the B-grade fortress away from Stark Industries. I don't know if that was a full imprint or if they just won by Holy Artifact imprint time. Regardless, congratulations to the Korean individual with 142 kills, taking number one. Flausch taking number two with 122 kills. Here are your stats. Wow, insane from start to finish. I truly believe that would have gone a different way if Stark Industries had bothered to get at least one alter imprint in the beginning rather than completely ignoring them and trying to win the battle outright in, in 60 seconds or less. I think that, that blew up in their face. But we'll let them talk that over. Uh, and then that's the end of your stats. Like, what is really going on here? I thought I had some time, but I guess I didn't. All right, there you have it. Let's see what's going on with the rest of the Fortress Seeds. I, Whiskey won, Shiva won, congratulations to Shiva. Shogunites won, I don't remember who. Xenocide, I think they, they fought Blood Brigade, but I don't know if these two here were real or not. Ataraxi, Strip Club, Omega, Stark Foundation. Okay. And then these stay the same. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a phenomenal fight. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and come hang out with me on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.